Hey guys, hey, before we start, I wanted to show you my chalice. It's really growing quickly here. This is quick for chalice. It's growing onto the rock there, and it's growing over the rock there. So that's quite good. My gorgonian is growing down over the live rock. That's a great sign. Everything looks good. My ugly phase is starting to diminish a little. So that's looking pretty good in the 20 gallon. I have the coral banded shrimp back there. I don't know if you can see him. He looks good. He's in there by himself and he's eating and doing well in the refugium. And the 10 gallon is looking good. The water's cleared up. You know what I resorted to? I put this little HOB aqua clear on the back, put some carbon in it a little filter sponge, low flow, and it's looking really good and clear even from the side. See that? So I'm pretty happy with that too. Oops. Over here, I have to say my GSP is withdrawn again. However, I did see quite a few snails and hermits climbing on it for the last week or so. So it's very possible, that's why. My water parameters are good. I haven't lost any blue-green chromis. And I wanted to show you something, guys. I'm starting to do a little of my artwork. And I wanted to show you a painting I got going here. So yeah, here's the Tom Reefer masterpiece, guys. It's an abstract clownfish and the pajama cardinal. All right, guys, so here we are with the six gallon tall. The history behind this is that it was once a five gallon, and then I added a overflow box, exterior overflow box to it. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean it, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I got going on in here, and nano reef tanks in general, little ones, different things just whatever comes to my mind as i start to clean it so what's nice about this is i have it on here and i can slide it out and i have a kessel a80 up on top and let me show you around the tank so you can see what i have here so up top we have kessel a80 as my light the dimension of this is eight inches across, eight inches this way. It's a square, eight inches, and it's 24 inches tall. So it's rather narrow, and this was an experimental tank, guys. I mean, it's just a different shape. So I thought I'd try it. I was thinking, you know, a long, narrow live rock structure in the center. I have one fish in there and I have the mushroom corals down in here. Lots of uh, algae, hair algae down here, but it's not up top. This is really dirty, by the way. That's why I'm taking it out. I'm gonna clean it today. And uh, it's because the flow doesn't reach down here. If I put a stronger pump in here, return pump, it's gonna blow these mushrooms all over the place. I also have a brittle starfish in here somewhere. But I have a Smith's damsel in there as a fish. It's been in there for about two years now. And uh, this is Zoa dominated, as you can see. But I'll show you some uh, better pics of this when I clean it. Now let me show you the overflow box. I go out more with this. Oh, this was uh, made, new guys, this was made from monitor shelves. These were glass monitor shells. This here was a platform. See, these are the feet for the platform to set a monitor on top of. See, it's black. And I'll show you that better at the end also. So I just glued these together. The actual size, the only piece I cut was the bottom, the bottom footprint glass. So here's the overflow box. Here's the overflow box that I attached 
some time ago. So what I had to do was build up these edges high enough so the overflow could take place here. Uh, it's just a small overflow box. I have the Digiton ATO float switch. I have a filter sponge there, just a sponge, and then a pump down in the bottom. It's a Sea Chase Nano Pump. Look at the little bit of algae growing on top of that pump. So that shows you how much I've messed with this in the longest time. I haven't really done anything except water change. I haven't taken out the pump. I haven't done anything in here and it's doing quite well. There's something to be said about leaving tanks alone as long as you do water change enough to keep your nutrients down. But my guess is the nutrients in this tank are quite high. I'm gonna clean this off and then we'll talk a little bit more about it after I clean it. So this is about three hours after the water change. I tried to take some of the algae off the bottom, but I didn't want to mess with the mushrooms too much. So that's not really hurting anything. It just doesn't look that great. And if I put a lot of flow down here, uh, the mushrooms won't open up like that. So this is an experimental tank. All these mushrooms here have grown in on their own. I have not put them in. They were on the rocks and have now spread. Uh, these zoas I've put in, these red colored, I don't know what they're called, but they've grown in a lot. They've really filled in and these green and yellow up here have grown in a lot. And these are scrambled eggs. I'm gonna move these up into the light more. They're just, I mean, they're not open now because of the water change but they're not getting enough light. Uh, this tank was about, made about, uh, geez, going on four, three, four years ago, guys. And it's done really well. Some people complain about putting a fish in this size of a tank because it's so small, but I mean, he's doing really well in there. You know, his color is good. Look, any fish you keep in a tank, guys, is not its natural environment. So I don't know, there's part of me that wants to take them out. Um, I had a, I had my pajama cardinal in here, which is a much better fish for a small tank. Uh, there's better fish for a small tank. This Smith's damsel probably needs more room, but his colors really well. And he hasn't tried to jump out. That's usually a sign. If a fish jumps out of your tank, that means he's not liking the size. Kessel A80 is a great light for small tanks, up to 20 gallons. And then if you're putting multiple ones on, like I have on my 75 gallon, I have three up here as filler light. And they also have a great shimmer. So on the small tanks, Kessel A80s are a great light. And I've liked it on this. I have it nice and close. The setting is probably about 80% on its brightness and the color is kind of in between like the bluish and the cool white. It has an adjustment on that. And of course, this is the ATO next to it that services this tank and it also services my 10 gallon up here. So there's the six gallon, it's all cleaned up. I changed about uh, maybe 15% of the water and it's looking good. I'm trying to give you an idea of the size of it. It's under the table there. 